Today's video is going to be a DIY rose highlighter. In Comb made a highlighter a couple weeks back where it's literally a beautiful rose sitting in a container and it's supposed to give you a pretty decent highlight, but from what I've heard about reviews, it wasn't that sparkly as much as just like a sheen and like not a super glittery highlighter. So I wanted to recreate it and make it a little bit better and also a whole heck of a lot cheaper because the one by Lancome is $60. $60. I'm a girl on a budget. I made this gorgeous, amazing highlight. Like, this is beautiful. This should be like a centerpiece at a wedding. It gives great pigment, super easy to make, and if you guys wanna see how to make the rose highlighter, then just keep watching. So I'm beginning with this Wet n Wild highlight in I'll Have a Cosmo, and this is $6 for a whole lot of product and pigment, and I'm taking this and scraping it off into a bowl. Next, make sure to mix everything together so it's fine and make sure there are no chunks because we don't want to be throwing any chunks into our rose highlighter. So I got this rose from AC Moore and all you're going to need to do is to pop off the top and then cut off the little bottom stem part because if you are going to glue this in, you don't want to have any obstructions in the way, which I didn't even glue it in, but I took this container from Mary Kay and it fit perfectly. First take the setting spray and spritz it on a petal and then apply our highlighter mix onto the petal. Like I said, a couple squirts, I did like three to four, and then just go in with your little eye brush and densely pack the formula pigment on it until it's completely covered. And this is going to be totally messy just so you know, I had to put a paper towel underneath because it is loose shadow and make sure to do every single petal until you get to the middle. Once you've covered every single petal and highlighter, you're just going to place the rose into your container or glue it in if this is going to be a permanent container for it. And then you're 100% done. This was so simple to make and took only three things. So it's time to try the rose highlighter and I have it right here and it is gorgeous like look at this especially with my studio lights there's so much light shining on it and it's so reflective it looks so pretty and shimmery there are two ways to use a highlighter you can either apply it with a brush or apply it with your fingers so I'm first going to use a brush and then use my fingers I also didn't glue this in the container because I'm not going to be keeping it in this permanently I shouldn't have a container at the time so I'm going to hold it to the container first and then just saw by that demo this obviously works and it works pretty well I really love the color that it gives me a lot of these rose highlighters I've been seeing other youtubers make are more bronzy and orangish and I really want to try to maintain as much of the original highlighter as possible so I tried to make it really pink and it's closer to the highlighter than other ones that I've seen once again not exactly the bright pink I think you'd have to really use a straight white highlighter and not a marbled one in order to get the just white really rosy pink highlight but this one for me works really well on my skin because it's like white a little bronzy and it looks really good in studio lights as you can see like wet n wild is actually low-key a great brand i feel like nobody talks about them enough but they're cheap it's cruelty free and it's good quality stuff i today went to the store and went to get materials for this and i got a blue eyeliner and it's amazing wet n wild is amazing this is officially my second highlighter DIY. I feel like this is one of my favorite videos to film. I love seeing something and then trying to recreate it that's makeup based. So if you guys see any funky cool makeup that you want me to recreate, then send it to me on any social media. If you do happen to make this, also send it to me on social media. This is really easy. This was $15 total make for the rose, the setting spray, and the highlighter, and that's under $20 for an amazing looking highlight. Like, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this every week. And I love you guys so much. Bye. Mwah.